job they're taking to Longreach will soon be on the move again. Another working day for Jack Jones, a boss drover in Queensland. And for old Walrus, who has already appointed himself leader. So the day starts, just like any other. The cattle have come from a station in western Queensland to country mostly harsh and seldom kind. Five hundred and fifty fat cattle make up the mob and it's now over a week since they left Virgemont. That's a station of one million acres managed by Jack Jones' father. In every mob there emerges a leader and old walrus is still the undisputed boss. On the previous night, one of the cows had calved, and the boss drover decides she must be caught. The calf had to be killed, and the cow is being hobbled with leg ropes made from green hide to prevent her going back. So far, the mob has fared pretty well. Apart from a 20-mile dry stretch early on, they've found water every 10 miles or so. Quickening in tempo means they've sensed that there's water close at hand. They've been lucky too because grass is plentiful after a four year drought. In the early days, there were no dependable watering places, but nowadays, most stock routes are much better off. There's a bit of shade on the sort of day when droving can be pleasant. But many a mob goes through weeks of heat that really burns in dust that can make the midday lunch break an ordeal. Jack Jones believes cattle and liquor don't mix and he insists on running a dry camp. The main food for Bluey Dunn and the others is beef, meat they kill along the track. Jack Jones already owns nearly 70 horses and is always adding to his string. There's nothing worse than mucking about with engines, he says. But the motor drover has a ride. The road trains cover great distances in a fraction of the time, though the cost is much higher than the traditional drover. that nearly one-third of the 70,000 head of bats turned off the Northern Territory each year now travel by road train. Petrol gets their fire going, so as to save time during the short breaks they allow themselves. Each unit of the train carries 44 bullocks, mustered from the 8,000 square miles of Marion Down Station on the Barclay Tableland. They'll complete the 280-mile journey to Winton in a single day. Among the crew is Jim Hill, a one-time drover who misses having a horse under him, but who now prefers road train work.
charge is Dick Smith, who's convinced road trains are here to stay. Their critics, and Jack Jones is one of them, argue that cattle get bruised while travelling over the bumpy inland road. gadget that man's carrying is a way of ensuring that cattle, even if they fall, don't remain down for long. It's called an electric dog, and as the name suggests, it deals out a mild shock which gets them up again. Despite the coming of the outback road trains, Jack Jones has no fears for his future. He's confident there'll always be work for a good drover on horseback. 